Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at crossbows. Uh, we've finally got round to it. We're in the last couple of weapons for each uh, type, uh, for the warrior, the mage and the hunter types now. We get into the last couple of weapons, quite excited. Uh, I've enjoyed this series, I really have. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to start on the elder's crossbow. Um, we always start on the we always do the elders weapons, get to see all the skills that way. Uh, obviously, do be aware that the power item power will be slightly higher, and therefore the damage numbers will be slightly higher. Uh, first thing we're going to do is look at the elders crossbow. Uh, we're going to start with the Qs, the Ws, and then look at the passives, and then go into the E abilities on the weapons. Uh, it's twenty wood and twelve bars to make a crossbow. Uh, but firstly. Auto fire, a channeled spell dealing 101 physical damage for 8 hits. That is 800 damage on a 5 second cooldown that is channeled. That is ridiculously strong if you get to channel it full duration. Uh, it's 22 energy cost and 11 meter range. That is, I will highlight, only at 11 meter activation range. It does actually get slightly further um, upon once you channel in it. If they run out of that 11 meters, I believe it goes up to about 15, 16 meters from testing, um, which is really strong. Um, the other thing is then, shoot a bolt that explodes in a 3 meter radius, dealing 324 damage. Um, I'm not going to go into the rest of it, this is only used, ever used in PvE uh, AoE situations. If you're going to be hitting more, tar more than one target every time. Uh, otherwise, always use auto fire. Even in that situation, auto fire is probably still better, just because you can focus one target down. Anyway, uh, knockback shock. Uh, shock. Deal 130 physical damage and knock the target back 16.62 meters. Energy cost 25, cast time is 0 seconds, so instant. I don't know why there's a difference. Uh, range 8 meters and cooldown 10 seconds. So, only an 8 meter range, which is it's okay. Um, what I have seen someone do with this is they've managed to uh, use the knockback into the channel so that the channel was carry on going as the knockback happens and they kept the channel going so there's a lot of damage however i don't like the knockback um a 10 second cooldown is good for a knockback but i just don't like knockbacks in general unless you're trying to kite someone in solo pvp maybe this is good but other than that i probably wouldn't use it uh sunder shot a ranged attack dealing 288 physical damage and reducing the target's armor and magic resist for four seconds the more health the target has the more stacks of resistance uh reductions are applied between one and ten stacks are applied and each stack reduces resistances by eight so if you hit this on someone that's max health you're gonna reduce the resistances by 80 which is really strong um on a seven second cooldown with a one second cast time 11 meter range and 28 energy cost uh each are really strong Thing. it also applies the stacks before the damage therefore if you basically it will give you 10 if they're at 100% health rather than doing 288 damage then applying the stacks otherwise you'll never be able to get max stacks you can it'll apply the stacks and then you'll hit the 288 which means I do also believe that the physical damage from this is applied um, is affected by the resistance debuff which is really good uh, Sundershot is probably the second best option here it's a really, really strong thing. If you haven't got something that reduces resistances in your group, use this. Honestly, it's so, so good. Uh, 11 meter range, which means it matches up with the rest of the abilities, which I like. Uh, Caltrop, shoot a trap into the ground. The first enemy that walks over the trap is slowed by 50% and takes 45 damage per second for 4 seconds. Energy cost 13, cast time instant, range 13 meters and full second cooldown. Um, this is only ever really good in a choke point if they have to walk through the trap. Other than that, I just don't see an opportunity where they're going to walk through the trap, basically. Unless you catch a melee that's bad. I mean, maybe, but even then, I don't think this is good. I would rather use Sunder Shot or Knockback Shot, actually, for that matter. And Noise Eraser. Cast a bolt in any direction, so it is a skill shot. On hit, it silences an enemy for 12 seconds and deals 461 damage. If you land this ability the fight is potentially over uh, we were playing a comp once with this bow exactly with the snipe shot which we'll go into in a bit um, he managed to land noise eraser on the healer and he was silenced for that full duration he had a big hit at the start straight into a snipe into an auto shot and he basically killed the healer by himself uh, 28 energy cost which is nothing really uh, 0.7 cast time which is you're just not going to notice it in 20 meter range which is nearly off screen on a 15 second cooldown the cooldown alone is mental on this uh, this is definitely the best ability on this tier like i said use Sundershot if your group hasn't got a resistance debuff but 
yeah, if you can use Noise Eraser, you should be. Um, and then the passives. Every three normal attacks, your, auto, uh, nah, your attack will knock the enemy away and interrupt their spell casting. So this doesn't count for any of these abilities. It's only auto attacks, which means auto fire, which you're basically going to be spamming, means this is pointless. Uh, unfortunately, you don't do enough auto attacks for this to matter. Uh, aggressive caster every four activated spells you gain a cast speed buff of 66% for three seconds this is really really strong with this crossbow specifically because of snipe shot if you play it right um, that knocks that down to a second cast dealing a lot of damage it's pretty damn strong if you play it properly um, energetic every normal attack you restore four energy so I would use this for everything except for the like the hell gates where you're going for that massive massive burst in which case I'd probably use aggressive caster um, but yeah, this gives really good sustained damage. And Furious, every 5 activated spells, all your damage gets increased by 10% for 4 seconds. For potentially the other uh, crossbows, I think this is better. However, for this one specifically, I would use Aggressive Caster. So let's move on. Actually, we didn't go over Snipe, did we? Snipe. Uh, dealing 1200 damage, I'm going to round it up. Physical damage, energy cost 50, cast time 3 seconds, 15 meter range and 15, 15 second cooldown. So if you match this with either that or that, an enemy is potentially dead in this one combo. Uh, it's really, really strong and if you time it with that amazingly, so maybe go for like a Q... I don't know actually. You'd have to basically spam Q until you get to 3... Make that your fourth and that your fifth. But yeah, there's definitely ways you can make that into a second cast with a Sunder Armour doing a lot of damage. Uh, and I imagine that is very strong. But heavily countered, it's very, very easy to see it coming and typically gets ice blocked. So I wouldn't use it without something to speed up the cast. Uh, heavy crossbow. So this is two hand as well as the other one, crossbow. Um... Yeah. So, Sweeping Bolt, a strong bolt that sweeps through the enemy, dealing 562 damage to every enemy it hits. It also interrupts enemy spellcasting and channeling. So this is like a conal thing in front of you, it hits everything, it's brilliant, it does a lot of damage, interrupts everything. Uh, however, it does get, I believe it can get body blocked. Uh, so if it hits one person, the rest of the people can stand behind, which kind of makes it a little bit worse but it is an instant cast with a big hit damage to everything potentially it's strong 22 meter range and a 25 second cooldown so the cooldown's a little high i'd like to see this at maybe 20 seconds but i think that'd be a little bit strong actually uh and the energy cost isn't bad either uh, this is a good weapon i would say this has best work it's uh zerg versus zerg this is hilarious and brilliant um Hellgates maybe not, however GVGs I would say this is good. The reason Hellgates maybe not is because things you don't tend to have people in front of you, people are all over the place and especially ranged people tend to get caught in the middle of a fight. Apologies, I just actually got uh, interrupted there. Uh, yeah, effectively it's good for Hellgates. Uh, it's bad for Hellgates because you get sort of swamped, whereas GVGs tend to be a bit more of a ranged standoff fight meaning this has more playability. Anyway, let's move on to the next crossbow. Uh, the next crossbow we're going to look at is the light crossbow. Uh, exploding shot, fires an exploding shot that deals 171 physical damage and places a bomb on the target. After a few seconds the bomb will explode, dealing 543 damage to any enemy in 5 meters radius around the detonation. So, it's quite a big range in the grand scheme of things um, around the target. It also means that if they're stood too close they're going to blow up their whole team. You could potentially hit 5 people five people doing two and a half K damage um, in one spell like that's just crazy uh, the problem is it can be cleansed it will be cleansed if people see it and they've got nothing else to cleanse at the time however it is only a 15 second cooldown so there's good and bad points it is one-handed this weapon as you can see by the mats um, which means you can actually use like a book potentially if you're going to use casts for whatever reason uh, you can use a Sark, you can use a Musiac, you can use anything with this. Uh, you can even use a Mist Cooler, which would be really strong. Uh, so there's so many different options with this. I think this is one of like the meta uh, crossbows right now, if that's what you want to call it. When you look at the first of the artifacts, this is the Weeping Repeater, and it, you need the Lost Crossbow mechanism for it. Uh, explosive mine. Shoot a mine into the ground that will detonate once someone steps onto it. Ally or enemy. Upon detonation it will deal 491 damage to all enemies in a 7 meter radius. 
this sucks. Like literally, it would be good if it was only if it was only enemies that could stand on it, because you could fight on it. However, the fact that you can an ally can detonate it just makes this terrible. Unfortunately, uh, it's quite a high energy cost. The range isn't bad. The cooldown isn't bad. Like all of this spell would be good if it was just allies that could detonate it. Uh, until that change, I don't think we'll see this doing anything. And bolt casters, I love these weapons. Um, so you need the hellish bolts for this. Uh, Deathward climax, a channel spell dealing 11 physical damage for up to 20 hits. The damage is multiplied each hit, stacks up to 20 times. Uh, this ends up doing just a ridiculous amount of damage. You hit 20 times, which is just crazy. Uh, effectively, if you're to play this properly, you would potentially do like uh, you probably don't even need any of that any of the passives but you would just silent shot straight into that or sunder shot straight into that either or um, like if you did that to a healer if you noise erase them into that I think there's nothing they could do about it they would just die uh, which is just mental to think but yeah they are very very strong <laughs> really expensive however if you can get your hands on them definitely worth giving a go and trying out Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've got, let's have a look what we've got next. I believe it is the cool stuff next, which I'm looking forward to because they're a bit weird at the moment. Um, and after that we have one more, which is my favourite weapon. And then we just have the offhands, which I'm going to do all into, into one video. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the usual stuff. Uh, any comments I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Other than that guys, thanks for watching.